I'm pretty sure that you did not hear about this because this news was just released about 24 to 48 hours ago. There are dust storm clouds heading to Florida and beyond from the Sahara Desert in Africa, meaning like the countries near the Sahel Alliance, even like off the coast by Ghana, West Northern Africa type that those dust clouds are coming off of there right now, which, you know, it's also the direct trade route of the Atlantic slave trade, just to throw that out there. But those dust clouds are coming across the Atlantic Ocean, and they are set to hit the US this week. Now, we have got this information from scientificamerican.com, and it's just crazy. It's really insane. So they're basically saying you need to be prepared, especially if you are near Florida, but even uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, like these dust clouds are going to bring in lots of hot weather, lots of dust to America. And on top of that, near Canada, they're already seeing wildfires develop. For those of you who are in the States or who are American or Canadian, you know that every summer it's crazy with the wildfires. It's June 1st. It's basically summertime. And it looks like America is in for the summer of its lifetime. Okay. And it's starting early. These dust clouds coming in is going to cause a lot of havoc. The trees catching fire in Canada. We know that always happens in Canada every year. And the crazy thing about this, like I was saying, is that these trade routes mimic the Atlantic slave trade. I always look at that. I think that's so interesting. Now, where I'm at, I'm here in Mauritius, Africa, and our hurricane season just ended. It's a little bit chilly here, but obviously hurricane season is, ki is kicking up in America. So I was looking at Luke 21, 11, and it says there will be great earthquakes, famines, pestilences in various places and fearful events, signs from the heaven. And it's like, what more do we need to see to understand that the destruction of the Americas is upon us, not just one place, not one country, but the Americas as a whole, the new world. You know, if we just took a quick history lesson, we would know who started the new world, how it came to be how they brought our ancestors and slaves. And then the logical question needs to be, so what does that mean for 2025 and beyond? What does that mean for the biblical narrative? What does that mean for the end times? These are the questions that you need to ask yourself. Signs of the times are here. But the question is, are you going to look in the scriptures and see what's happening? Are you going to read second estrus and see what's happening? Or are you going to pretend that these things are just coincidences and don't mean anything and everything's fine? Everybody on earth of all nations can now see everything is not fine with America. And so if you're an American and you're like, you know, I understand what you're saying, sis, and I want to leave. I implore you to binge watch the Mauritius Africa playlist. I implore you to watch the Life in Africa playlist we have on this channel, Journey With Us because we have been outside of America for five years and will continue to because we saw the signs of the time. The Most High tapped us on the shoulder and said, my children, it's time to wake up. And if you feel that same tap on your shoulder from the Most High, understand that you are chosen, you are the elect, you are called to come back to whatever country he would have you to come back to or to travel to, because the signs of the times are here. It does not need any further explanation. It only needs you to decide to listen or to not to listen. But even if you choose to pretend these things aren't happening, it doesn't stop the reality from setting in. Read Luke 21, 11. Actually, you should just read Luke 24, or sorry, Matthew 24 and 25 as well, as along with Revelations 12 and Revelations 18, so that you can understand these things for yourself. Pray for yourself. Seek the Most High's face for yourself. Do not let anybody gaslight you and tell you that these things are not happening because we are in phase three of the end times. Shalom, shalom.